Hello everybody, this is Solar Tiger with another solar power video. Today it's April 2018 and we're in the solar shed. Now recently the weather has been really sunny and warm in the UK and the temperatures have been up to 24 degrees Celsius and when the sun shines it means that inside the shed it gets very very hot. At the moment it's cool and the temperature is 23 degrees Celsius and it's bright but not direct sun outside. So to, to help with this I have installed, well, I installed a fan. So up there you can see my exhaust fan. This fan sucks out hot air from the shed and expels it to the outside. Now that's great pushing the hot air out, but you need to bring in cool air from the outside to replace it. So I, a couple of days ago I put a fan up here to bring cool air in from outside, but I only had one fan and this is the fan I had. It's a lot smaller than the fan that's up there. So I had this fan wired up there on this wire up here. And I thought, oh, you know, I could suck in cool air from outside and blow out hot air to the outside to help keep the shed cool, because in the daytime I prefer to keep the doors shut and that means the heat builds up very fast inside the shed. Now the fans are wired directly to the solar panel so that during the day they are not running down, running my battery down. And so the fans are f fed from the solar input to the charge controller before the charge controller. So the solar panels go out on the 50 watt panel I have outside is connected to this wire. It comes in through this watt meter and then comes round to my solar charge controller which is this uh, Morningstar Sunsaver MPPT and that's connected to a 100 amp hour sealed AGM deep cycle battery. Now I didn't want to wire the fans to the output of the charge controller because that would run my battery down. So I'm running the fans directly from the solar panel and that's where the problems begin. If I show you the watt meter and you can see up here that the solar panel is producing 18.93 volts and the weather outside is bright but not with direct sun. Now when we have bright cloudless sky outside this voltage can rise to the mid 20s volts and that's where the problem begins. So you have mid 20s volts from the solar panel being sent to a fan that is meant to run on 12 volts DC that's where the problem begins. The 20 odd volts from the solar panel is almost double the voltage rating of the fan. And this fan up here has been up here for more than six months and it has been wired directly across the solar panel. So it's been fed with 20 plus volts and that fan seems to cope with it just fine. But this fan did not. And I had this up for one day and this fan couldn't take the higher voltage and it burned out. Which is not surprising because it's being run at almost double its rated voltage. So and I don't have any more fans. 
So, I'm now left with the main exhaust fan over there, and I don't want that one to burn out. So, to prevent that, I have installed a voltage regulator unit. Now, this is a cheap eBay unit, the Chinese generic, generic module type thing that costs only a few pounds from eBay and what this does, it takes the voltage from the solar panel and it, it regulates the voltage output to 12 volts. Now this module can take a voltage on the input of between 14 and 50 volts and regulate that to 12 volts DC at maximum current of 1.5 amps. Now my fan doesn't need 1.5 amps I and mean, even if I had two fans I still wouldn't need one and a half amps. The fans I'm using are computer case fans and they typically run at about 300 milliamps so if I had two of those it'd only be 0.6 amps so well within the ratings of this unit. Now the input is between 14 and 50 volts so the 20 odd volts from my solar panel is no problem for this but it limits the voltage output to 12 volts and that means that no matter how sunny it gets the output voltage will not exceed 12 volts so my fan will never be driven by more than 12 volts which is what it's designed for and so it will never burn out which is good so this is Solar Tiger saying thank you for watching my video and in this, this video I was explaining about my, my fans in my shed so I have an exhaust fan to suck hot air out of my shed and I want to install another fan to draw cold air in from outside so this is Solar Tiger saying thank you for watching and until next time Goodbye. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click like. Thank you.